So, how do you get your first agent? What do you look for? What are the, what are the things to be looking for? Um, one of the things I discovered early on was it's really, I'm not going to say easy getting an agent, but the key is finding a good one, finding the right one for you, for where you're at, at that stage of your career. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're early in your career with hardly any credits whatsoever, you don't want to be signing with some big, huge agent like William Morris, CAA, or, I mean, those are, those are the gorillas in the business, but, you know, what are called boutique agents, which are more, uh, you know, in, in, in let's say, the, the B category. Um, you want to try to find somebody that's, that's young and hungry like you, and the truth of the matter is, a new actor with very little credits, uh, not much experience, Maybe you don't have your SAG card, maybe you're SAG eligible, maybe you do have your SAG card, but it's only because of one credit. The, the, the bottom line is you're very new in your career, you're early in your career, and you need to find an agent who's about here while you're here, right? So that you can grow into them. The sad part is, or the part you're going to have to embrace is, unless they really grow with you, in a very short time you'll probably outgrow that first agent pretty quickly. Now that's a good thing. Um, because the reality is a really solid agent is probably not going to want to represent you. That's nothing personal. And it doesn't mean that they shouldn't. But typically it's hard to get the attention of an agency that's up here when we're down here. Because they have clients who they're repping who are in here and much easier to sell. So the topic of the day is how do you get that first agent? The best way to to find that first agent is, to, is through referral, through somebody you know who uh, is with this agent. That's the best way to get in the door is through an introduction through somebody who knows this agent. So what are we saying? You know, getting an agent can be actually fairly easy. Getting the right one for where you're at in your career, that's the, that's the dance. That's the That's the, the tricky part. And again, the criteria for what the right agent is, it's one that's ahead of you, but not so far ahead that you'd get lost in the agency because they're busy promoting people with much stronger credits and relationships and tape, etc. I know it's a dance and it can be tricky. And the other thing I want to end with, because this is going to be a three-part series, uh, these next three blogs are going to be on uh, agents, okay? So make sure you post comments and, and share your questions and feedback so that we can address it because we will. Um, what I was going to say is, um, gosh, I don't even remember now. I'll, it'll come to me. I, I'm sure we'll think of it on the next one, okay? Um, so that said, let's do a quick recap though. You want to get referrals from somebody who's already with the agent. That's the best way. Do your research. Try to find out where that agency is at, their reputation in the area, what their strengths are. Are they strong in, in the areas that you want to be strong in, right? Television, film, commercials, all three, you know, but not so far ahead that you're going to get lost in the shuffle, okay? All right. Look forward to your feedback. Let us know.